Well, today's Sunday, it's the 14th of May 2023, and uh, we've just come out for an evening walk. It's uh, 20 to 8 in the evening. The sun's shining, it's beautifully bright, and we're in Camp de Mar. We've had some very, very strange weather over the last few days. Lots and lots of rain, uh, but now we've got lots of sunshine. Uh, so people have been writing, saying, what's the weather like? They're worried about the weather. Well, yes, it may have been raining at some point during the day, uh, but there's also been lots and lots of sunshine. And it's a beautiful evening. Uh, lots of people out. The restaurants are packed here. Uh, and there's still quite a few people just sitting on the beach enjoying the last of the sunshine. Are well, we going to have a walk around? Um, it's a, a restaurant there. It's actually called Urban. Urbano Mar, and I think it might have been called something different last time we were here. Uh, and just beyond that is the Camp de Mar uh, Comida Mediterranea, it's a rest restaurant, and that's looking really full, really busy. So Camp de Mar has come to life. Hotel here, this is the H10 Hotel, Boutique Hotel, and uh, it's all fully open, and looking quite good. This is uh, always a nice walk here in Camp de Mar, just like the, the decking we walk across. It needs a bit of TLC, but it's from there. Oh, it's called the H10 Blue Mar, that's the actual name. And then the bars along here are open. We've actually, in the past, stopped occasionally for a drink in one of them. We might do that later on, but uh, we're going to have a little walk first. And uh, this was a bit of a spur of a moment thing, so <laughs> we haven't booked the restaurant on the island, still on our list of to-dos. We will get there one day, dear. <laughs> we did have a very late lunch, so I don't think really we're very interested in eating at the moment. Hello. People sitting, having a, a drink. As the sun starts to go down, it's really, really bright. But we have had a lot of rain. Uh, we went today to the centre of the island, to Yuret, and had a beautiful day. It was sunny there, but on the way back, it did absolutely pour down, and uh, really quite heavy rain. Uh, but that's all being blown away, and uh, nothing but clear blue skies at the moment. But you can see Actually, when we. It's yeah, there's a cool breeze, so the temperature has gone down from what it was a week or so ago. Um, but uh, you can see there has been some water that's come down this little torrente. Actually, water here. You must never see water here. That'll be breeding mosquitoes, unfortunately. Uh, so if they get a lot of rain, the beach gets washed away. But they'll come with bulldozers or whatever, and clean it all up, tidy it all up, and it all gets sorted out. And this beach does have toilets there. So here we're actually in the Andrach area, so where we usually go, which is Parmanova, Magaluf, Pagera, there in Calvia, a bit like the county, if you like. Uh, Camp de Mar is part of the Andrach county municipality. The screams and the uh, shop that sells all your souvenirs and your buckets and spades now they're really important. So the, um, the restaurant on the island closes in the winter time. Uh, I think last time they were just repairing the, the walkway that was going across there. That's all sorted now. And it looks pretty busy over there. It does look lovely. It's a lovely location. It is a lovely location. And I think at this time in, in the evening, I think you've got to do it about around about now as the sun begins to set. I was reminded of this. Um, I saw a photograph on Facebook of a, a friend uh, Carol Upton, who was uh, 
helping out when Piers Brosnan was here. And so it's a picture of her with Piers Brosnan. And uh, he was doing some filming and in this area all along Camp de Mar, and particularly on that island. So one of the things that's in my, my mind from this week that I saw that picture. There is a, a new Roski here. Roski's like a supermarket that sells just about everything. Usually quite reasonable sorts of prices. But uh, if you're going to be on the beach, you can expect it to be a little bit more expensive than, than elsewhere. As I was driving down, seeing how bright the sun is at the moment, it really is bright. And uh, that encouraged me to bring the camera. I was thinking of just going for a walk and not bringing the camera, but uh, just the bright sunlight does help you do that. Oh, I've lost a meter, she's down there, still outside Oroski. Fig tree. And uh, crystal clear water down there. Nobody in the water, nobody swimming. It's a bit chilly. And the breeze is actually coming directly from the sea, so it is, it is a cool sea breeze that we're feeling. I mean, just taking photographs and videos, zipping them off to all of her associates and friends. This part here is very rocky and it's, uh, there's lots of rock pools, so great fun for the children. Um, interesting to me because uh, whenever you get rock pools and sunshine you get evaporation so you get the, the lovely salt crystals forming in there. me one of the really big hotels here in Camp de Mar, right down on the, the front. Nobody sitting around the pool now, they're all probably in having their dinner. Oh actually there are some people sitting by the pool but uh, it's, uh, it's dinner time now, quarter to eight. And then uh, out for an evening stroll. I like to get close to the water, so I'm going to walk down here. I like to hear the sound of the water just hitting the rocks. I find it very soothing. Beds were not here last time we came. The water is very, very clean, very, very clear. There's a little jetty here, but uh, looks as though they actually haven't quite finished repairing it or making it. So very fresh timber, new timber down there. And that will go to the end there, and uh, that's where some of the boats will uh, come to take you to, well, probably all the way around to Andrach and, and uh, the Dragonera Island. This is what I mean about uh, rock pools, and so, so often there I can see huge crystals. So that's the sort of thing that fascinates me. Yep, that white 
salt crystals. And some of them would be quite big. Great place to watch the, the sun go down. I think some people come out here especially for that. Come just sit by the water, and let the sun go down and When we were last here, which is quite a few weeks ago now, I guess, there was a, a film crew doing some filming. And we get that a lot here on the island, different parts you'll find uh, suddenly one day there'll be a film crew either taking photographs or making film. We're going to film an episode of some of Game of Thrones here. Have you seen that? Somebody from the Game of Thrones is filming here a, a series. Um, I forgot the name of the series. It's one I've ever actually seen, never watched, but uh, this is, uh, they're going to film some episodes of it here. Some big boats out there. That one across there looks particularly big. This is now the time of the year when the big boats start to arrive. And they're out for charter or their owners are on board. Tree trunk in the water down there. my parasol. Good eye. Once you're out of the breeze, it feels quite a lot warmer. Oh, there is somebody in the water over there. Got the face mask and snorkel on. That must be a bit chilly. <clears throat> Hasn't even got a wetsuit on. There are some benches along here. And uh, yeah, a lovely place to sit and watch. Watch the sea, read a book. It's nice to bump into Landon again. We, we met him uh, in Palmanova. Uh, he was just sitting in a bar having a drink, and uh, today, just by coincidence, here he is in uh, Camp de Mar. Well, he's actually staying here, so I suppose it's uh, me, maybe to ex be expected.
nice rocky bits here. Looks, uh, yeah, I like the natural rock outcrops like that, big rocks in the sea. And there used to be a, a jetty that went out, like the one you can see in the distance there. But uh, they decided to get rid of it for some reason. They left that one there. That's the one actually they were doing the filming on last time we came. If you do come this way, uh, then it's quite a lot of steps. So this is about as far as you can go without going up steps. And uh, there's lots of them. But the higher you go, I don't know, maybe the prettier the view. I just find the view here in Camp de Mar one of the best on the island. Beautiful bay, lovely cliffs. A little bit built up, but not too built up. And generally speaking, you're going to get some nice boats here as well. That's definitely something I could sit down on the bench here and just watch that for hours. Listen to the waves. More steps. And then more and more steps. <laughs> I think we'll just have a last look at the view from here because it's just so spectacular. The sun's going to go down in the next few minutes, just behind the mountains over there. Right, are you ready to attack the steps? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Camera off. Well, we've got to the top of the steps now, and the view even more spectacular. I just love this. And the light's just right, so on the right hand side, it's in the shadow, and then on the other side, we've got the sun. Beautiful. You're on holiday here? Yes. Yeah. But my country is far, you know, oh, yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. So six months live in Thailand. Uh, yeah, Thailand? Yes. Yeah. And I have a job. Working. While we're enjoying the view there, Anita was talking to a gentleman. He's now living in Ireland, but is actually from the Ukraine. And uh, on holiday here. come on holiday to Mallorca. So, wish him and his country and all the best. I just noticed there's a flat for sale oh, for rent up there. Flat to rent. One for sale over there. One thing you can bet is they're going to be top dollar. It's a beautiful area and uh, very close to the sea. It's very quiet in winter though, so anyone who does decide to come and live here has to bear that in mind. But if that's the sort of thing you like, this is the perfect spot. Spectacular views. the Grand Sal restaurant, already looking busy. Oh. 
this is like the back street and uh, there are one or two um, cafes and restaurants along here and uh, rent a car if you need a, need a car while you're here looks like uh, pizzeria's closed up for the day and the spa Sure, they've actually been open though. It's the spa. This has been doing quite a lot of work over the months that we've been coming this way. The Dolph Spa Apartments. We've been refurbishing them. See the long shadows now as the sun goes down, it'll soon be disappearing behind the mountain. Spanish looking bar. Well, there was a, a breeze as we were walking along the front initially. That's dropped. My 10, 000, and uh, I'm feeling quite warm now. Anita's happy she's done the 10,000. Well, I don't know, some of the windows are open, so maybe. Maybe I got that wrong. I'm going to have a look down towards where the shops are. I know you like looking at the shops, don't you? You haven't got any money. Oh, you haven't got any money. <laughs> that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> Good time. <laughs> well, we've done our circle now. <laughs> time because the entertainment doesn't sort of Is it possible? Well, we just had a, a selfie taken with Landon. Hello. Hello. We keep, we're watching you. All right, so we were just walking along. We've been speaking to Landon, and we've just bumped into Sean. <laughs> who's from Cornwall and uh, been watching lots of our videos recently because they're on holiday here and they were just worried about the weather so you can watch the videos and see what the weather's like. It's been great today, it's been great today. <laughs> the sun's shining and uh, it's been raining in different parts but uh, but it's uh, it's sunny here. Uh, it's actually eight o'clock, half past, nearly half past eight in the evening. Anyway, it's great to meet you Sean. Good to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your All holiday. Right. Have a good Love to meet All you. Right. Cheers. Love to meet you. <laughs> Uh, another lovely couple we met there uh, enjoying the holiday and waiting for some more family members to arrive and uh, well, here's some shops for Anita to look at a rail everything for nine euros wow outlandish prices are they perhaps when you when they get you inside Nice. I think I've ordered something from one of these. Yeah, I think you might have done. Now you can feel the breeze that's coming up off the sea. Oh. Some more. Uh, 
shit. Fashion Camp de Mar. Here. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite unbelievable, really. I was thinking as we were driving along, we won't see anybody in Camp de Mar. <laughs> this is the hotel that Bye. is open. <laughs> bye bye. Looks as though they've been having some work done, and uh, they're all open, everything looking good. <clears throat> the road is the Villa Real Club Apartments. I'm going to walk this way because I'm right by the bins here. It'd look a bit nicer if I just uh, show you the Villa Real Club Apartments. It looks quite nice. If you do come to visit here, you can catch a bus obviously, but uh, if you're driving, if you hire a car, a car has uh, several car parks. Uh, none of them you have to pay. Um, if you're lucky, you might find somewhere on the street. But there's a good car park here, so it's really close to the beach. And uh, if that's full, as, as it will be um, during the daytime, we were lucky. We got a place. Um, then there's another one across the road. If that one's full, then just about 100 metres or so. There's a huge car park um, which uh, fits hundreds of cars, so I don't think you'd have a problem parking there. Huge property on that hill, is that what you're pointing out? On the clouds as well. Yeah, but look at that size of that property. I haven't really noticed that one before. On the hill overlooking, I was talking to Sean just, he's uh, seen a property that's for sale and it's uh, 15 million euros. I wonder if this is probably the coach he's waiting for. Yeah. like it could be the, the last drop-off point. Not many people on it. Buddy? Not many, if any, people on that one. I guess we should finish the video, really. Well, a lovely walk, as always, in, in Camp de Mar, really one of the places we like to come to, and uh, really nice to, to meet some lovely people, have a chat to them, and... Uh, see that they're enjoying their holidays. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. So bye for now. Bye. Bye.